So I don't know why anybody would want to change one of these out for aftermarket radio. These are actually pretty good. We'll, we'll prop this up here. Use an old processor. <laughs> Something here to stand it up. There we go. Stock head unit. CDM. These are two piece. Uh, I'm experimenting here. Uh, I figured out which pins do what here. And uh, I've proceeded to. That's uh, just sticker I was writing on. I proceeded to figure out what this extra plug does. Yeah, meet that. I figured out what the extra plug does and what wires trip on the cassette player. Um, let's see here. So that's our input. Ringo Star laying off the laptop, auxiliary cable comes around. Got tied in here, going to this plug. Shush. Uh, figured out what's your audio here. All these plugs are numbered. I, I just happen to have a CDM here that has a diagram. Every pin is listed on here. I have never seen a CDM like this. I don't know what it came out of. Uh, I couldn't tell model R or whatever there's the number I don't know if anybody has a way to tell it won't focus I don't know uh, it's a 161470075 I don't know what that CDM came out of but uh we have figured out here what pins do what so on your backside plug, you have your rear speakers, front speakers, that's your power in and all that stuff. So power in, you have your orange and white, oops, orange and white, uh, orange is hot all the time, uh, yellow I mean, is uh, on and off with the key. Of course your black's your ground, got tied to a battery, power supply. Uh, that's this plug front speakers rear speakers and this is the unused plug so the very last pin here is going to be pin 11 that's your left audio channel the next pin is pin 12 that's your common and then there's audio right channel that's pin 13 and pin 14 is another common I'm only using one common since they're tied together and on the flip side of the CDM, that goes to your control head and your cassette deck. And the cassette deck, see here I was playing with this one. I figured out how to trip it on, but then the motor runs all the time, and I don't want to put all these extra hours on my cassette deck or just sit there and run tape for no reason. So I figured out what pins do what on the cassette deck connection. Uh, pin 1 starts over here. That's your uh, where your head unit control plugs in. See, everybody thinks that that's the radio. It's not. That's the control head controls. And then here, this is a CDM uh, command data module or a computer data module. These are very have a lot of things going on. It's very complicated that we don't need to know because it's not important right now. But you know, there's EEPROM chips in there. It runs a firmware. I mean, you can unplug all this while it's on and it'll continue playing I mean it, it's got you know it knows what it's doing but uh, I have written down here uh, pin 16 which is the far pin here is 14 volts pin 13 is is taper auxiliary slave on and uh, of course if you want to tap audio into here you can use pins 11 10 and 9 11 is uh, audio common 10 is right audio channel and 9 is left audio channel that's just coming off the tape deck and there is some data communication in there too in case you're using a uh, 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 equalizer deck which I have in my truck but uh, we'll show you you know pin 16 is this far one pin number one is the first one up there so you just got to count them so I counted backwards from 16 13 11 10 9 but uh that's how that works and that's how I have this CDM that I'm demonstrating with wired this is on 16 it's on pin 13 
again over here pin uh, 11 uh, 12 13 14 so I have it wired from there and this is just temporary for my experimentation but uh no it works you know I'll hit play here on the laptop for my auxiliary source Then if I want to switch to the radio. Well, it won't stay. I have to hold it. Auxiliary. Consecutive weeks at number Casey one. Casey Casey. Diana Rossum. With Endless Love, the title song from that motion picture. That's not the so. That That's how it thinks there's a tape or an auxiliary source. And, and uh, I figured the same thing out on these. They use the same slave plug for the tape or CD deck on one of these. This is a this is going to be 95 and up, 2005 or six, I think. These are going to be found 87 and a half or 88 to 94. And uh, CD unbox is under the dash above your gas pedal. Uh, I've seen some other videos of people having auxiliary plugs hanging out of these. I can't find any reason. They have it soldered inside. I haven't figured out what they've done or how they've done that. And when you plug into it, it turns on and off automatically. It's pretty neat, but I don't know how to do that and haven't figured out how to do that yet. Other than what I'm doing here. So I think we're going to go with something like this in my truck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire into my tape deck on there we go I think what I'm gonna do here is just tap into that plug on my tape deck and have the switch somewhere on the front of the tape deck so I'll probably do it inside where it terminates here but uh this is a tape deck out of a non equalizer uh, control unit and here's another fun fact uh, these units are AM stereo capable uh, I live in South Texas so uh, KONO uh, 860 AM I think broadcast in stereo because it comes on and it'll actually light up stereo for me there it's working which I don't know why it's lit up stereo right now it doesn't make any I guess it's stereo because I'm plugged in here because uh, if I hit anything I don't know nothing does anything tune doesn't do anything because it's, uh, it's full I think there's a tape playing or, or it knows to go to auxiliary but uh, yep. There's our pins, you know. Uh, 16s, 14 volt, 13s tape 